Hello everybody, and the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection has released, and it's dead on arrival. I had seen so many positive things from the early reviews, I was so excited to jump in and play it, as Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 were huge parts of my childhood. Instant action, galactic conquest, even the campaigns, I loved all of it. I could play split screen with my friends when they would come over. It was always a great time. So when I heard it was gonna be 32 v 32 online, I was like, oh my god, I get to relive my childhood. I was so disappointed. The Steam reviews already tell a story, mostly negative, and here is why. The online functionality is bad. Connecting to games is bad. The amount of servers is bad. The desync of the characters is bad. Just zooming in with the sniper rifle, they don't even run in a straight line. The netcode is bad. Across the board, the game is bad bad. And I really wanted to love this game. This is especially the case when I was watching some people who got to play it early. Locally, the campaign, it actually looks good. Because there's no networking involved, the game runs really well. The 4K textures look better, and the game on a whole runs pretty solid. But there is no way the online version of this game should have been released in this state. There are so many bugs, I could honestly make a 30 minute video just talking about them alone, from not even being able to respawn in the Heroes vs Villains mode to the official Aspire dedicated servers. If the host leaves, that's right, it's peer-to-peer. -peer. Once that host leaves, it crashes the entire server. Upon launching of the game, there was only three official servers. For everyone, that is it. It gets even worse as the tickets, how many deaths each team can have before the game ends, was set to 100. That's right, 100 deaths between 64 players. The games were literally ending within three minutes. This is so tone deaf, so modern gaming. It is really, really disappointing. The original Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 are still on Steam as of me making this video. They are only 11 gigabytes total. The Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection was 62 gigabytes. Why is it so much? Why was everything uncompressed? Elden Ring is 42 gigabytes. Why is this old collection of games 64? It doesn't make sense. Even when you load up the game and you're greeted by the main menu, and this should have been my first warning sign, this is what it looks like. It looks like no love has been put into it. And you know what the worst part is? So many people were so damn excited to play this game. A re-release of their childhood. And now most people are going to say it's dead on arrival. A lot of people are refunding. Their disappointment is immeasurable. Now, believe it or not, it gets even worse. For Star Wars Battlefront, when you're loading into the game, the iconic loading screen has had its audio changed. And for Star Wars Battlefront 2, upon completing certain missions, usually you get the 501st journal, some of the cutscenes are just straight up missing. That means the original Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 that are currently on Steam already are actually more faithful versions of the game and they actually also have mods. In terms of actual gameplay, if you are the host or you are playing locally, it's almost identical to the actual game. It feels exactly like the way you used to play it over 20 years ago and it's really really good. Very rarely you're going to be the host and it's incredibly inconsistent. What makes it incredibly inconsistent? The blast of fire doesn't work. That's right, the main troopers, so the standard clone trooper, standard rebel trooper, or a stormtrooper, their blaster just does not aim correctly. The hit registration is unplayable. What I had to do was pick the shotgun character, and I could roll everywhere, throw a sticky dead on, no one could hit me, I could dive out of the way and blow everybody up. It is that broken. And then I just heal myself, because as the engineer class you can put down health and ammo, I'll just keep on doing that over and over again. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it gets even worse. If you do get to be a Jedi and you're going up against standard blast of fire, you're unkillable. There is no way they're going to kill you as their guns just don't shoot straight. Now, of course, that could be a Stormtrooper meme. They just can't shoot straight. Ha ha ha. But when every single standard trooper cannot aim, it is horrible. Now, I say every trooper because the Super Battle Droid was actually fairly accurate. If you play as the droids, shot registration as a whole is much, much better. But you shouldn't have to do that just to play the game. All in all, I hope this game gets fixed. It should not have launched in this state, and it truly is a modern gaming moment. Surely the developers knew to some capacity that the game just wasn't ready to release. So why did it come out? Why is it in this state? Surely they had someone test the game and say, look, it just isn't ready. It needs longer in the oven, especially the networking. Because honestly, in its current state, it just looks like a cash grab, and that really sucks. The only thing I truly loved about this game when I was testing it today was the space combat 
combat, the ship to ship action, boarding the enemy ship, and the networking on the ships was much, much better. There was no jankiness, they weren't teleporting around, and space combat on the whole actually felt pretty good. It's such a shame that that level of care wasn't taken for the infantry, the on foot battles, and it's completely tone deaf that only 100 to 150 tickets were chosen, which is a 3 to 5 minute game as the standard server tickets. On the whole, the Steam reviews reflect this really well, as it's mostly negative, only 20% of people have positively reviewed it, and you can see why. So many people have said it's dead on arrival, it is such a shame, as these two games mean so much to so many people, as it was such an important part of their childhood. Frankly, whoever forced the game out in this state should be ashamed of themselves, it is completely unacceptable. So that is all I have to say, let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below. If they actually go back and fix it, I'll cover the update, I'll see how it's improved, I'll give it another go. But day one, first impressions, do not buy it, it is a waste of your time, it is not worth it. So thank you all for watching, hopefully this was informative, and I'll see you guys later.